Good morning, brothers. Welcome to A Brown Bag Gentleman. And today's shave, yes, is a little Maggard's Mango Sage Tea. It smells nice. And of course, a little something citrusy, a little sample I, I've used before here, the, the cello. Uh, it's been sitting underneath there too, so I figured I'd give another good one on that today as well. So that'll be today's product. In fact, today's going to be a long shave. I'm showing you everything. And yes, I'm chatty, so it's going to be long. In reality, no, if I'm just getting down to business, this is 10 minutes or less. Really, it is. <laughs> so we're new shavers. Don't be scared by the time. Uh, but yes, I'm, so I just took my razor of the day apart. Uh, I'll show you a piece of it so you can kind of figure out what it is. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's a single blade. So let's get our blade out. Whoops, pushed it. Come on. There it goes, pushing the blade out. Come on, get up. This is the Schick blade. If you can see that, yeah, it still uses Schick. Okay. Well, that's good enough. I can just pull it off this way, pull this back, let's call it a day. All right, let's see here. Let's get this base plate on. So I'm just, there's just two grabbing by the front of the blade. So that's a little dangerous, so let's be careful. Okay, let's try that again. I'm trying to get on the two, there's just two nubs. It's just going on two nubs. If you can see those nubs, that's all it's doing. There we go. Okay, it's on there. Now, start flipping this around. I'm trying to do this on camera pie, so it's a little awkward. <laughs> put that through the hole, put that down there. There we go. Is that sitting down there now? It looks like it's sitting down where it needs to be. Yeah, it does, okay. And yes, I put a gasket on this. There we go, a little gasket. And, cause I have some, so I did. Now, okay, it's kind of snug. Now let's snug it down. There we go, snug enough, that's good. So, yeah. Raise the Rock Hawk, version three. And let's see here, let's open up this sage, I mean the mango and sage tea. Pleasant, very sweet, pleasant, fruity, light fruitiness on the mango. To me, mangoes are never all that overly fruity scented. When I buy them in the store, usually because probably because they're a little green. <laughs> back of the spoon, sorry, back of the spoon. See how it's like, I just scoop it out back of the spoon. About an almond size amount. Boy, that looks huge when it's close to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> All right, take my copper Captain's Choice bowl out of there. Okay, let me scoop this off. Yeah, let's take my thumb. There we go. Now I'm trying to mash it. I'm just going to mash it. Well, let me see if I can do it with my fingers. Mash it. It's soft. It's not all that hard. There we go. Smush it in the bottom. That's enough. Plenty. Wash my fingers off. Just gonna put the spoon in the sink and just drop it in the sink. It'll, the, the soap will soften up in that. Okay, now, of course, it's time to wash your face. I usually cut here, I'm not. You're gonna see me wash my face today. I know, big excitement. <laughs> so, okay, my washcloth. And all I'm doing is squeezing it out very loose because I want it a very saturated washcloth, very saturated. Okay, face is warm and damp. Now I'm taking my PAA um, cube and I'm dipping it in the water now. There we go. Get my hands wet. There we go. And this is three days growth. Yeah. Working from home all week this week. So yeah, I haven't shaved since Tuesday. Or Wednesday, Wednesday, yeah, I haven't shaved since Wednesday. And today is Saturday. And I've got the bathroom door open so I can hear my wife in the kitchen. She's making pancakes for breakfast. <laughs> okay, washing hands off. All right, get most of the soap off. There we go. Okay, let me wash, rinse out my washcloth now. I'm gonna need that here in a minute. Okay, and now I'll wring it out more, more tight. You know, I'm not looking to saturate it now. Now I just need it to be rinsed out. 
end up available. So at the end of the shave, I can wash the soap off my face. Alrighty, so take the brush out of the sink that's been sitting there in that warm water the whole time. My travel brush, two shakes and squeeze. My AP Shape Co. There's no, there's no stamping or anything. It's AP Shape Co. brush and the cashmere head. Soap. Let's put a little water to start. There we go, a little water to start. Well, how about two of those? There we go. Oh, that's nice. And there, there's 50. So I, I judge like every 50. So, 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 yeah, at this point I'm saying keep going. Okay, it's building good. Keep going. Now I'm going to reverse. Well, actually, I'll do 25 more forward. Two, three, four, five. There we go. It's 125 clockwise. And it's still a little soupy, a little liquidy. So, yeah, you need to keep going. So, I'm going to do another 125 counterclockwise. Let's see, you see the peakiness, obviously. Peakiness, yeah, nice and peaky. So now it's a nice usable lather. So that was like 250 swirls total. And I did all my water in the beginning and that's mm -hmm. gonna be enough. If I'd done just one drop of the water there off the hands, I would have been reaching for another one. So yeah, I just kind of did the two at once thinking, and it's a judgment call, really, you, you learn. So without further ado, let's get that on there. There, goes on nice, easy, nice scent. Oh, I'm liking that scent. That mango say, I am liking that. Okay, razor, we're gonna get that warm. Alrighty, see which blade, nice wide blade, artisan style blade. Yeah, no DE today, so only one side. Alrighty. First pass on this three days growth. And yes, it's the single edge blade, but it still is a bit wide, so I'm still going for the the leaf twig front of the nose, still am. And close and tight and nice. Oh yeah, let me dry this off. That's back on the shelf. All right, let's lather up for for pass two. And now, yeah, I'm just kind of painting it on after after the first one. The first application of soap is see yeah, a little bit of scr scrubbing in and all that stuff too, the whiskers. But second one now. And after by the second and third ones, I just I'm just painting it on. Oh, I like that. I do like that scent. It's one of those summery type scents to me. You know, the fruity scents are summery for me, and I like more woodsy in the winter. That's just 
I like to change things up. I do it, I do it seasonally. Not that you can't do anything you want, anytime you want. <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> That's just what I like to do. But if you just, if you keep it in simple and have one soap, I like a nice cologne scent for year round. Some of the newer cologne scents or even some of the classics. There you go. Nice and uneventful for past two. Let's see what happens past three. Past three will be, of course, against the grain. But it's doing a really good job of getting knocking those whiskers down through his growth. And with this razor, truthfully, I could do more days growth to it that would handle it. A lot of razors, three is about maximum to get just a quality shave out of them, especially a lot of the DEs, unless it's a more aggressive razor. And if I'm going more, then yeah, then I'll pull out a really more aggressive razor that I have. Seems, oh yeah, nice and smooth. All right. Oh yeah, so far so good. Stretching the net nice and tight. All right, sorry, I am filming on my phone, and of course, I just got a call and a message, so it's beeping every couple of minutes. <laughs> so, if you hear that, that's what it is. Okay, sink is draining. Let's rinse off the razor here first. So, usually I cut here too, and you don't see me rinsing off the equipment or what have you, but today, yeah, you're gonna see it. So, I'm just rinsing off the freezer off this sink. My towel. Got to buy the handle first. Dry off the handle. Tap off some water, and then just gonna dry off the head. There, nice, shiny, nice. That okay. Now I'm gonna rinse out the brush under the water. There we go. And I basically got swirl around in my hand with the water running about 50 times. One, two. And let me shake this out in the tub. There we go. Give it like five flicks into the tub, into the shower area. Dry off the handle. Give it one squeeze on the, on the furry part. Flip it over. Now I'm going to do this part. I learned this from. Where did I learn this from? See his face, I can't picture his name. But basically, yeah, I learned that too. I picked it off of watching other videos. Seems to help. Okay, now, um, before I go any further, I'm not gonna rinse out the bowl until I wash my face. So I'm running the warm water in the sink. Give 
the sink itself, just a little quick rinse. There we go, just from the residual soap in here along the edges of the drain. There we go, raining out my washcloth in nice warm water. I'm flicking the water over to cold now, so let that run cold while I'm doing this. Oops, put it back to warm, sorry, I haven't washed the bowl yet. Let's leave it at warm to wash the bowl. And this is warm and soothing and nice. And then we're gonna shock the face, close the pores by splashing on a couple of splashes of cold water. There we go. But first, because it's still running warm, I'm gonna rinse out the bowl. So yeah, you get to see it all today. And I'm gabbing and jabbing John. And yes, realistically, this is, you know, 10 minutes or less. There we go, that's done. Bowl is rinsed out, I wiped off the bottom. I have a little, I have a picture frame rack that I put the bowl in so it's up at an angle and basically can dry out so it doesn't have water under it. Okay, let's put that over the cold. Okay. Water is running cold. I'm gonna put two splashes of cold water on and let me get an album block. I decided I want an album block today too. So we're gonna use the Shave Nation Allen block just as soon as I put on two splashes of cold water. All right, two splashes of cold water. Face is dripping wet. And this is just here yeah, to keep all the excess water from running down my shirt too much. It's going out a little bit. I mean, it's already wet, but <laughs> in fact, I can put that down now. There we go. No horrible stings. A couple of little spots here and there I felt. I felt. Let you know you're alive. There, nice refreshing shave. Now, the Captain's Choice, our smooth can Captain Choice, sorry, Cella, that's the Cella fragrance. I'm gonna spray it in my hand. Oh, that's pleasant. Yes, yeah, very pleasant. Alrighty guys, so today you saw the whole thing, so yeah, I'm 17 and a half ish minutes instead of 13 or so what I try to aim for, but I wanted to see just the whole thing. I mean, yeah, if I wasn't jabber jawed and getting down to business, I promise it would be 10 minutes or less. Just get to town, do your stuff and all that, but yeah, gotta do all this, so, because <laughs> I enjoy it. I enjoy showing you different products, different things, you know, show you my techniques and watch others see their techniques. Everybody's a little bit different, so pick up the, the things that you think you would like and try those out, and you'll see that some of them you don't like, and you'll go back to doing the way you were or try something else. But that's what I do. That's a, my little tip for that razor for the leaf for under the nose if you're doing a little half mustache. That's like the go-to. It's, it's like I found nothing else that will do as good a job as that and as comfortably as that. Um, the um, Blacklands Vector is you know, it's too aggressive. It just I, hurt, I cut myself really good with that, using that. Granted, I was new to the razor, so hey, operation error, I understand. But because it did that to me, it tells me that is, you know, it's a little too aggressive front of my nose. I don't even use the twig thorn front of my nose. I like to use just the the regular um, twig. I can use a twig thorn if it's been a couple of days for under the nose shade. But for, yeah, if it's a daily thing, then I definitely use just the plain twig. So that's just what I do. And so, I mean, I hope some of this information helps you because you say it's sensitive for me here and here. Um, so yeah, I, I like to watch my technique and things too for my sensitive areas. Everybody's got different spots. Mm -hmm. And my thickest area for hair is like right here. And I, oops, I could have feel that. I could have done a little bit better with that, but not bad, but I could have done just a tick better. So, so it shall be. So tomorrow I'll do that a little bit better. <laughs> so guys, hope you enjoyed that and go with God.